bold and unprecedented move, Iran has unleashed a massive barrage of over 200 drones and missiles targeting Israel, pushing regional tensions to perilous heights. This retaliatory strike, dubbed Operation True Promise by Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, IRGC, is in direct response to a deadly airstrike on its Damascus consular annex earlier this month, which resulted in casualties, including senior Iranian military personnel. <laughs> The recent escalation traces back to an April 1st airstrike in Damascus, widely attributed to Israel, claiming the lives of seven Iranian personnel. In the aftermath of this attack, Iran issued repeated warnings of retaliation, setting the stage for the unprecedented assault witnessed late on Saturday. <laughs> که وجود دارد به منزله خاک همان کشوری است که سفارت متعلق به اوست وقتی به کنسولگری ما حمله میکنند مثل اینکه به خاک ما حمله کردند این عرف دنیاست کبار شنیم چه ایران پوالت نگدنو گم به اوفن ایشیر و گم به امتوت اشلیخیم شلا ولخن اسرائیل پوالت نگد ایران و اشلیخیم شلا گم به اگنه و گم به اتکفه אנחנו נדע להגן על עצמנו, ואנחנו נפעל לפי העיקרון הפשוט שמי שפוגע בנו או מתכנן לפגוע בנו, אנחנו נפגע בו. Iran's retaliatory operation comprised an extensive array of drones and missiles aimed at specific targets inside Israel. The Israeli military confirmed intercepting the majority of incoming threats, but acknowledged minor damage to one of its air bases. Sirens blared across various Israeli cities as residents sought shelter amidst the airstrikes. Eyewitnesses describe a chaotic scene as explosions illuminated the night sky over Jerusalem and other urban centers. The scale and intensity of the attack left communities on edge, with many taking cover and stocking essentials amid escalating tensions. The international community reacted swiftly to the escalating conflict. The United States reaffirmed its ironclad support for Israel. We're surging additional military assistance to the Israeli Defense Force, including ammunition, interceptors to replenish the Iron Dome, and we've moved the U.S. carrier fleet to the Eastern Mediterranean, and we're sending more fighter jets there in that region, and made it clear, made it clear to the Iranians, be careful. Pledging to work closely with regional partners to counter the Iranian attacks. Hey, you guys are the best in the whole damn world, man. The whole world. Okay, that's sure. No, that, that's, not, that's not hyperbole, man. Both these, both these squadrons. You're incredible. Absolutely incredible. You made an enormous difference, potentially saving a lot of lives. And thanks to extraordinary skill, the United States helped Israel take down nearly all those incoming missiles. Meanwhile, the United Kingdom and France reiterated their commitments to Israel's security amidst the escalating tensions. Political analysts warn that this unprecedented attack signals a dangerous escalation in the already volatile Middle East. The involvement of Iran's proxies, including Yemen's Houthi rebels and Lebanon's Hezbollah movement, underscores the complex web of regional dynamics at play. أو القلق من أن تتدحرج هذه الجبهة أن تتدحرج هذه الجبهة إلى حرب واسعة وهذا احتمال واقعي ويمكن أن يحصل وعلى العدو أن يحسب له كل حساب as the situation continues to unfold, there are growing fears of wider ramifications and the potential for a broader conflict. Israel, with strong backing from the United States and allies, remains on high alert. Iranian officials suggest that the matter concerning the Damascus strike is now concluded. But the aftermath of this retaliatory strike poses a critical challenge for regional stability. Experts caution that the conflict between Iran and Israel could have far-reaching consequences, impacting not only the immediate region, but also global security dynamics. Dynamics. The urgent meeting of the UN Security Council underscores the gravity of the situation with calls for de-escalation and diplomatic intervention. We have a shared responsibility to work for peace. Regional and indeed global peace and security are being undermined by the hour. In this way, we are the signal of Tehran of the desire for the future escalation of military actions in Israel. We strongly urge the Western Jerusalem to follow 
его примеру и отказаться от практики провокационных силовых действий, акций на Ближнем Востоке. Iran's unprecedented attack on Israel marks a significant escalation in an already tense region. The conflict underscores the complex geopolitical dynamics and the potential for broader implications beyond immediate military engagements. Why have you not used all possible means to condemn Iran and demand compliance? Why have you instead rolled out the red carpet for these genocidal jihadists? Why do you treat them as if they are interested in de-escalation when you know that the opposite is true? This attack crossed every red line and Israel reserves the legal right to retaliate. While they have denied Iran inherent right to self-defense against the Israeli armed attack on our diplomatic premises, at the same time, they shamefully justified the Israeli massacre and genocide against the defenseless Palestinian people under the pretext of self-defense. Regrettably, the Security Council has failed in its duty to maintain international peace and security.